Ubuntu Budgie is a Linux distribution for regular people. It's an easy to use operating system that's based on Ubuntu with the Budgie desktop environment. Ubuntu Budgie is lighter on computer resources than Windows and is a smooth transition from other operating systems. If you are tired of Windows spying or slowing down your PC with every update, Ubuntu Budgie may be for you. Let's take a look at Ubuntu Budgie 20.04.2, the long-term support version. Hi, Dennis Ray here. Do you know why I make YouTube videos? You don't? Uh, okay, uh, well, I guess I'll have to ask someone else. Please like and comment below, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thank you. This is Ubuntu Budgie's desktop. I think it really is one of the best looking desktops of all Linux distros. On the bottom there's the dock with icons for easy access to apps. And on the top is the taskbar. In the taskbar, if we go over to the right and we hit this uh, icon with the arrow in it, we get this, applets notifications and it has a calendar volume control uh, shows uh, apps that are currently playing for multimedia power button volume control and this is a way to get to sound settings this shows the amount of battery power network settings and notifications again access to files an app to make notes and this is uh, a control for workspaces you can control the number of workspaces that are available by default you get two you can make it one or more than two and to change workspaces you can uh, use on your keyboard use control alt and then either the right or left arrows on your keyboard to change workspaces and then over to time if we hit that, we have time and date settings. Calendar. And preferences. This is where you can change it from 24 hours to 12 hours. Then over here on the left is the menu. The menu is unique because you have a choice of views. Uh, this view is a icon or grid view. Or else you have this view by category. Let's go back to the grid view. If you hover over the icons, it will tell you what each of those are and what they do and then to move on further in the menu you can just hit these dots at the bottom and also there's this search bar and then there's the category view in the categories there's accessories games and there are a few games there graphics internet and this includes the firefox web browser which is the default web browser for ubuntu budgie office which includes the LibreOffice suite other science sound and video which has a video and a music player system tools which has access to all the different settings in Ubuntu Budgie. 
universal access and utilities. Uh, this is a PDF viewer and a screenshot app. I wanted to show you how to add icons to the dock on the bottom. And this is actually an app that's called Plank in Ubuntu Budgie. Now if we go to the menu, uh, in my case I'm going to go to graphics, open up Gthumb. Okay, it's open. The icon for Gthumb is in the dock, but when I close the program, it's going to disappear. But say I want Gthumb's icon to stay in there when I close the program. Uh, if I right click on the icon and then just put a check mark and keep in dock. Now when I close the program, it will stay there and I can hit this to open it whenever I want to. If I want to remove an icon from the dock, I can right click on the icon and uncheck it. After you've installed Ubuntu Budgie and you boot it up for the first time, you'll be greeted by Budgie Welcome. After that, you can find Welcome in System Tools and down to Budgie Welcome. And in the Welcome screen, you'll find uh, these two, which will provide some information about Budgie in introduction and features. And then there's uh, Getting Started. And in this, there's Browser Ballot, where you can add or remove browsers. Uh, there's Customization, uh, where you can have some settings for the desktop, uh, styles, desktop, fonts, windows. This is where you can uh, move the position of the taskbar. The top, bottom, left, right, and back to the top. Create a new panel, auto start. There's uh, access to the settings, but that's in the menu too, but this isn't your only access to settings. Okay. Oh, there's more. Keyboard shortcuts. Uh, post installation updates and extras. You can check for updates. And this will install any drivers for your system. Language and input. Some optional tools. Gives some information about your system. And back to the welcome screen, recommendations. Uh, online store, community, like forums and such, support, getting involved, donate, and I would suggest to donate even if just a few dollars to, uh, to uh, keep the development of a good operating system going. Install software. This takes you to the extras where you can install different applets.
recommendations again, Software Center. And uh, since Ubuntu Budgie is based on Ubuntu, you have access to the Ubuntu software repository. And there are actually somewhere around 60,000 different programs available in the software repository. So there's a ton of different selections that you can find in this. And then there's Explore, Install, a listing of what programs are installed already in Budgie. And this is where you can remove them if you want to uninstall them. In Explore, if you want to add more, you can go to the search. And then uh, if you know the name of the program you want to install, you can type it in there and hit search and it will find it for you and you install it from there. And there is Snap Apps with the very latest software. Same thing for flat pack apps, the very latest apps. <clears throat> Themes and layouts, and this is where you can add uh, different themes. Uh, for instance, there is this arc design, uh, a dark design, which is really nice, and some others that you can add. Well, and also then there's a desktop layout where you can change the look of the desktop. you like a uh, look a little more like Windows or Mac you can do that and that is the welcome screen and for access to all the settings if you go to menu system tools settings you can explore this at your leisure to see how much memory or computer resources Ubuntu Budgie uses at any one time, you can go to the menu, uh, utilities, Tilex, and in this we can type in free space hyphen H, enter, and right now it's using 784 megabytes of memory, which is Pretty good for a uh, Linux distro. That's about medium range for a Linux distro. And Windows normally uses well above one gigabyte of memory or 1000 megabytes of memory or computer resources at any, at any one time. So Ubuntu Budgie is much lighter than Windows. This is Ubuntu Budgie's home page. And of course, there's lots of information about the operating system below this. And you can hit the download bar, go down, hit the tab for the long-term support edition, which is the one I was going through in this video. To download it, then you can hit either direct download, torrent download, and you can donate with either one of these bars and what you'll get is an ISO image and with that ISO image you can use a program like Rufus for instance to uh, burn it to a USB which you would use to actually install it to your PC and I did a video about how to install Ubuntu flavors and uh, operating systems that are based on Ubuntu and I'll put a link for that in the description below. Ubuntu Budgie is a really great Linux distro that has everything you need to be productive straight out of the box. Also, it's a joy to use. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. If you click my name below, you can see other videos I've done that may be of interest to you. See you.